What's going on, guys? My name is Sputnik. I'm Indy. And today, we're watching some more Steven Universe Future. That's right, and this time we're watching episodes 11 and 12. Okay? So we are at the half point in the series. We're literally halfway through. Mm. And we had a very reflective pair of episodes last time. Felt very emotional. I feel like it's going to be like that here on out, probably till the end of the series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe the last episode will be like a little happy or... Especially bittersweet, but oh, no. I don't know. Yeah, I got real emotional with those last two. Just dealing with <laughs> a giant cactus monster eh, that represents Steven's unexpressed emotions. Mm -hmm. And all his friends leaving him because they all hate him and don't love him. <laughs> okay. That's how it feels in the moment, though. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just moving into this next pair of episodes. Or just for the second half of the series or whatever. I think... Uh, might get a little worse before it gets better. I think it's just going to be very wavery in yeah. Steven's emotional Which uh, makes state. sense, exactly. Yeah, that tracks for how he is feeling currently. So I see, I see the Definitely. ups and downs mm -hmm. and coming. But, oh. I'm just nervous. <laughs> like, are we going to be on an up or a down still? <laughs> Everything just feels bittersweet for me. I'm glad we're seeing more Steven Universe future. And I'm extremely sad that we're in the end game. Mm -hmm. but before we start the end thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe check out the link in the description to become like one of these fantastic people listed here the patreon satellite subscribers that support us over on patreon they get early access to all our reactions on the channel thank you guys so much um but yeah going into this new pair of episodes in dreams sounds awesome i love me some dream -like right i'm like i'm episodes. excited for the dream yes mm -hmm. and bismuth casual which is what we uh, saw earlier in the last episode so uh, we saw that title and i'm like yeah we get a bismuth episode which is cool which is great i'm excited Indeed. so yeah i'm uh yeah. <sighs> i'm ready to start <laughs> i'm just ready to get into Let's get into feeling it. sad. Do you want to feel sad? No. <laughs> Why do we sign ourselves up for this? Because we love animation. Indeed. All right, y'all. Let's go. We, we, we are in the future. They lied to us with this intro. I thought things were going to be all happy. It's not I, right. <laughs> yeah, there's Sadie's partner. I think we mentioned that when we watched the intro. In you know dreams. what? I think you're right. Me. Sorry, in dreams. <laughs> Ooh, a ray. Oh, right. I was going to say, let's go. Now you're finally old. Oh, I thought oh. we were going to be at the All oh, right. Um, now that I see the universe, I can finally party. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I thought it was inside of a rock or something. I thought it was. Yes. Let's go. Oh, finally everyone's yes! together hanging out. Yes, except I think this is a dream. <laughs> oh. huh? This is very hey, dream. Guys, what's the deal? I was like, yeah, they repaired the front of the house that quick? No one needs your help. How so dare you, Cookie Cat? <gasps> what? <gasps> Why do it look like Cat Bus, kind of? <laughs> the face of the Cookie Cat. Oh, the picture I of his like dad and his having these horrible dreams. Uh. Steven! Paradox? Steven, 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 Steven! Yes! Today is the day. Did you Perry. tape it? What are you talking about? You watch him. You promised me. Oh, okay. Camp Pining Hearts! Are you talking about the reboot of the classic Great Northern uh, teen drama, Camp Pining Hearts, that I recorded on this tape? <gasps> Still using the tapes? <laughs> yeah. The Return of Camp Pining Hearts! Let's go! You know, look at how happy Paradox looks! Having some sorry. weird dreams lately? Yeah. That's great! Now press oh, play, you monster! <laughs> you monster, damn! New generation. Oh, just like the new generation of the <laughs> universe. Oh, <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> She's so cute. What? What? Why have they, they done? Done? What? what is with this Rodrigo guy? He has no charisma. And can we talk <laughs> about this cinematography? Yeah, they've changed all the characters and I don't care about any of them. Oh my god, they're getting mad at all. How could you do this to me? <laughs> Camp Pining Hearts helped me escape when everything around me was in chaos. Yeah. CP8 <laughs> together. And now, look at this nightmare! Bad guys, probably. Steven, you didn't tell me that they can't. Whoa! You. His what? dreams are getting they into didn't. the. Is this the way I was wish I could like play my dreams back? That'd be awesome. <laughs> I had a 
terrible stream this morning. Whoa, what? My, my power's supposed up. to be interfering with the TV signal. That's crazy. Steven, do you know what this means? To watch your I have to start wearing a tinfoil hat? No, <laughs> it means that if we could put your dreams on the television, we can reboot the reboot. Reboot the paradigm. You're a genius. <laughs> this is what is okay. a lot of fans want. Why can't I just put what's in my brain? Yes. This is going to be the beginning of Paradox and Steven Productions. Yeah. Uh, less shorty, shorty squad. PS so, Paradox, do you think Jasmine's endgame is Kaz or Rodrigo? The writers are clearly trying to railroad us into a Jazz Drigo partnership, but mm -hmm. ah, these characters have no chemistry. Oh, Paradox, you get it. Rodrigo, it's so hard He's when you so feel that way. <laughs> passive. Hey, hey, I get that his social anxiety and poutine Silent allergy are keeper. really connected <laughs> to the larger story, but maybe if he just had some kind of foil? A foil. Interesting. I got it. A hunky lifeguard friend with nice muscles and they're making their own always wants to hang out characters with. now Despite Larry the blessing and curse of his popularity <laughs> he still likes to help his buddy Rodrigo okay. with his confidence alright oh, self insert oh, I like it good work Stefan. Stefan. <laughs> yeah. uh, why are you eating right at bedtime oh this chili I read that eating spicy foods before bed makes your dreams super vivid. Huh. Ah, so he's trying I to lose appreciate dream. your initiative. Oh, thanks. Just don't forget action oriented storytelling. Okay. Let's see how this works out. Hey, Jasmine. I hear you love birds. Oh my god. Sure. <laughs> Why you look kind of well, like uh, a little birdie um, told me that Dag's Jersey version is yes. full of <laughs> rare specimens. And that's even with Did a tan, too. Thanks, Stefan. You're the Stefan. best. <laughs> hey, Rodrigo. This is terrible. Jasmine is in danger. What? She's headed toward an island full of dangerous birds. But if we go downstream, we can save her. Okay. Thanks, Stefan. Okay. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Stefan. You're such a great guy. Oh, you're great too, you Wait. know. Great enough for Jasmine to like you. What? I can tell from the way she looks at you. Huh? Oh no! Things are getting weird! He ate the chili! What the uh, fuck? Stefan! What's happening to you? Huh? Oh lord. Ah! Oh no, no he's losing control of the dream. Steve, it's going so well. You just I can barely even control the so I get and it. And then the TV went on the fritz, and then oh, I'll just show you our script, our story. I watched the whole thing live. Not sure what you were going for. Mm. Up here. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting that artistic. Was bizarre, but for <laughs> Pineapple, <attempt>. diamond. <laughs> I'm like losing it. Oh, sorry. Just feeling a little off. Guess maybe the chili was a bad idea. Yeah, I've always heard yeah, people say like certain foods our make your and our yeah. Schedule is infinite. That's right. I can I do a read dream. How we can do as many sure as we want until we get it right. Less talking, more sleeping. Oh, now I need a star pillow. Definitely need a star A dog copter, yes! No, a dog copter, don't leave me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! Crystal <laughs> That's don't so me. how dreams are. Especially when you're waking up and falling back to sleep and they kind of blur together. <laughs> Oh no, now we're getting the <gasps> Baby Steven! The movie. <sighs> I don't think you're supposed to. Huh? Like, I've come to like the conclusion that. that we keep failing because we're relying on a script when we should have taken a more visual approach. Mm -hmm. So I've prepared this storyboard for you. Wait, you drew all of this in one night? Well, duh. I'm good at everything. Study these boards <laughs> Thanks, in Carrie. preparation for this redream. <laughs> oh. Okay. Redream. And it low key does work if you consume you enough like this out. media of something right before you sleep. Like you do tend hey, to. Hey, Paradox. Yeah. Why is Stefan kissing Jasmine? It's perfect, right? Just as Rodrigo is about to swoop in and save his teenage dream, he stumbles upon <gasps> Stefan, his good friend whom he trusts so much. Kiss See, really, the classic uh, love triangles and betrayals. <laughs> 
I can't do Rodrigo dirty like that. Yeah. Whoa, I feel like Hold Stefan on. would. You're though. talking about them like they're real Stephon people. Moore. It's just a story, <laughs> and a story needs conflict. No, I can't do this. Look, Steven, Steven. you seem pretty agitated. Steven. Let's just call this whole thing off. Oh, what? There's no point if you're gonna get all worked up over it. <sighs> I should okay. probably be getting back to a little homeworld anyway. Aww, you guys can still have fun. No, wait! Oh no. I'll do it. Oh lord. Hey, Rodrigo. This is terrible. Jasmine is in danger. What? She's headed toward an island full of dangerous birds. But if we go downstream, we can save her. Okay, thanks, Stefan. You're the best. Wow, Stefan is so great. <gasps> what? <laughs> Stefan, how could you? Such no, this is fantastic. <laughs> the smolder. Oh. <gasps> whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Scotty and Obsidian Connie. Yo. Remember you, you said Obsidian with Connie once. <laughs> and we're watching change your mind. Yeah. <laughs> hey! I that for him, but hey! <laughs> Peridot, come on, we gotta stop. Are you listening to me? Why won't you look at me? What's up? Whoa! <laughs> Still on the dream, buddy. Inception. That was cool as hell. Peridot! Peridot, where are you? Peridot! Yikes. The brain, yeah! Oh no. <laughs> Paradise! Wait! Stop! Don't go in there! Please! I still really want to hang out with you! Huh? Paradise! We've always had something to piece together! The cluster, the diamonds, or spinel! I don't think I know how to be a friend without something to fix! Wow! I, I just can't do it anymore! I'm so tired. Now I'm even doing it in my dreams. I'm this is sorry, very relatable. I can't do this for you. Please don't leave. Don't what? leave. Well, she saw that, bud, at least. Steven! 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 Poor baby boy. <laughs> Steven, I saw everything. Mm. It's, 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 it's fine. We don't have to do this anymore. Mm. I don't care about the show. And I definitely don't care about Rodrigo. God, I'm such a clod. No, but I really wanted to spend time with you. I just mm. wanted an excuse to hang out. We don't need an excuse to hang out. Can we still watch CPH together? <laughs> Even if it sucks? <laughs> of course. Oh, you asked for a paired on episode. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, we got one. <laughs> You just buried a body in the woods, and now you're mad that Rodrigo cheated at cards? <laughs> what the fuck goes on in this show? I know, right? It's the worst. What, I'm trying to think of what it, I don't know what it's supposed to be a parody of. Uh, yeah, what is Camp Bonding Arts a parody in of? My, okay. And I'm thinking, like... <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I, 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 don't I really can't, but... but it's, very unique, but um, oh man, that got me. I, I'm glad bit. that they kind of helped sp spelled it out a little bit better for us there at the end. That uh, Steven thinks, like, what am I if I'm not helping issues? somebody? Yeah, yeah, like, as a fixer, like, if yeah, like, your whole thing is like, oh, it's like, well, I've helped this person so much, that's so great, and then people like get better and they do things, and then you're just like, they're like, what do I they're do? Gonna leave me behind, they're all gonna go to a party without me, and I'm gonna be locked out. Mm -hmm. That fear of FOMO, like... The FOMO. Yeah, Steven. Well, th this is good. This is very good for his character, that he's having to find out who Steven is without worrying about the universe. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> worrying about Steven. Just figuring out. Yeah who he is without all the drama that he's had to, all the fires he's had to put out yeah which is great and now now that i'm really getting that i'm loving the choices they made with this series because like i mean obviously now that i okay not entirely but at least the past couple episodes definitely have just focused like steven has been his own worst enemy <laughs> and like yeah. a fair number yeah. of these and it's just like yeah he's 
but he's still learning his lessons every time, bit by bit. As mm-hmm. he moves and that's that's growth. Yeah, that's I love the meta ness of this episode, of you know them disliking the sequel series to the show or whatever. Um, but I I don't know how much are there that many people that really dislike Steven Universe Future because obviously this was know. made before they knew what the reception would be. But still, uh, they were probably you know they probably anticipated it like they were like they only have this much some dislike for all the decisions they took. I think they took the characters in a natural place, but still, I get. There's probably definitely people who. Yeah. Felt some type of way. But that's and I like the message of all right, you can, if you don't like it, you can still enjoy it with your friend. You know, enjoy it. For right, like you can elements. just still watch it. It's ba- consider it just fan fiction in your head if it's not really that serious. Like it's fine. <laughs> exactly. I was trying to think of if there's anything like that for me in any type of media. Bye, Nadia. Um, in any type of media that I like, but I, I guess I get too dramatic with it. Like, uh. If I don't like uh, an iteration of something, I don't know. I, I I hated that last Star Wars movie, and I don't think I'll ever watch it again. <laughs> I, it's, it's, I think I've really, like, so I watched it like I can't once. Like, I, 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 some things I can't even like enjoy just for, to rip it apart. Maybe I, can. I did. Maybe I, I, I enjoyed watching it to see the characters and stuff, but also I was yeah just disappointed. So that's okay. That's okay. Well, yeah, some things are so bad that they. I see why you can have fun and just being like, oh lord, what is this even like? What? Yeah. Okay. You don't have to build <laughs> something better. Sometimes you can just tear it apart, and that can be fun. Too. All right, that was a fun one, though. I loved. We got our Perry episode. All right, I am. I am sated. I am uh, satisfied. Yes, and it was really, really sweet too. Like, ugh, that was really sweet, actually. Yeah. I, I love their friendship. Indeed, love me some Perry. Um, any other thoughts before we go into the next episode? Let's just get into it. Let's go. I- Oh yeah, and those were the two uh, lapis there. Yeah, I, I noticed so that last episode, but was, I didn't want to say it. it was too late for me to kind of point it out. Bismuth. Bismuth. Yeah, I didn't say the title. <laughs> oh man, I can't get enough of this. Song. Finally, some Connie. Now, hold me now. Ooh. And that was "Can't Hold Me" by Emily King. Just one of the many songs you can request tonight. The voice Starlight is Starlight Roller Rink featuring DJ Sour Cream. I'm Let's so go, excited Sour Cream. for you to get out there and experience some interpersonal relationships with humans, Bismuth. I love it. She's <laughs> looking Don't adorable. be afraid to show off your gem. They're going to love you for who you are. Aww. I so can keep up. The most important thing to remember <laughs> is... I love this song. <laughs> I love you mean this commercial. Turn it up. Oh, Pearl okay. would be the type to love a uh, jingle. Place to bring your wreck. Get your car rate paid for cheap and fair without risking your neck. Kings, cam chefs. <laughs> it is her vibe for sure. This is giving me the same vibes as the episode Here where uh, we are. Pearl um, wow. and Steven went so you mean uh, to, tell me people pay to, have to like a party or whatever. And Pearl had a crush fun. on the... Uh, that is really that something hair. else. Yes, hey, yes. Hey, there's sour cream. Keep skating in circles. You're doing great. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you, sour cream. cream. I've never skated before. This will be, be my awesome. first time skating. How'd you end up missing out on this Mr. popular Sanders. human activity? Well, with everything that's happened since I got my powers, he was a skater boy. Oh, nice. <laughs> but hey, it can't that. be that hard to skate, right? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, there you are. Yo, Pearl. Ooh, Pearl has some friends? <laughs> wow. Whoa! So that's Pearl's fan club, huh? They seem so friendly and interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Pearl okay for her? life going on? Steven, Connie, Bismuth, this is Khadija, Jaime, and Brandish. Oh. They're just a few of my Brandish human friends. Is a cool name. So have you guys known Pearl long? I've basically known Pearl my whole life. Yeah. Pearl taught me how to use a sword. Yeah. I guess I've known Pearl a. Uh, Few thousand years. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Bismuth also built Little Homeworld. You're oh awesome. hell yeah! I didn't even realize that. Something like that. <laughs> They're so cute. Hey, also, I love the on. character okay. designs. Those are really cute. All yeah. right. So like Pearl has friends. Mm-hmm. That's so then good. Let's right? Get this like why am I like? Is that Connie? Patricia, Daniel. Patricia. What's up? They have friends Steven, too. I guess we're, I forgot she Here we go again. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> uh, how's it going? It's cool. You should have seen Daniel earlier. He was all bent out of shape because his mom tore into him over his last test score. Uh, you know, I, oh, I see forgot it. Nice. About it for a sec. <laughs> I know how that is. One time, White Diamond tore into me. <laughs> Literally. Oh no, he's not gonna be able she to relate. Took my gem. I'm part gem, by the way. She, she pulled it right out of my body. 
Oh. That sounds okay. traumatic. Ah, <laughs> what are you doing, Steven? I'm not. Great. Uh, uh, 16. <laughs> so you're taking AP classes? Uh. Oh, man. Connie, help him out. Escape? Right? Yeah, like, she just really there. let him flounder <laughs> for yeah. what? No. I really blew that one. That's okay, Steven. If they were Steven. enemy gems, we'd be best friends by now. Hey, Steven! <laughs> come on! That's crazy. So, Bismuth is doing better at, you know, working, integrating with this All group right, of humans than Steven has. <laughs> Whoa! Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They have a it's little, like, time, usually right? have an area where he could, like, run on the side. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, you but basically just hold on to the railing. Do you want some help? No, thanks. I'm okay. Steven! Yeah. I'm so tired of you not accepting help. Me. I'll catch up. No, that's um, the worst. Okay. Yeah, let you change your mind. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I mean, Connie, I respect her for taking him at his word, but, like... Damn, that was a quick circle, what the fuck? They're probably circling in the middle. <laughs> oh. oh, nice. Wow, business. The way you skate is like marvelous. I love your flow. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Careful there. Hell business, yeah. you're a natural. Now get this. When humans want to see each other again, they exchange numbers. Mm -hmm. You should try it. That's I'm what sure happened with you and the pink. Fun. Yeah, whatever <laughs> happened with you and the pink girl. What are you talking girl? about? I'm having fun already. Oh, here, take this. Every human has at least one of these in their homes. Sometimes they even use it oh, yeah, for vandalism. <laughs> for vandalism is Wait, so funny. where are you going? You don't need me anymore, Bismuth. The humans already love you. I'm going to make some new connections of my own. Okay. She'll really just be talking to everybody, I guess. Would you like a fresh roll? <laughs> Girl, you're so hey, silly. You gotta show us more of those cool moves. All right. Well, if you insist. Woo! All right. He finally finished his first <laughs> lap. <laughs> okay, one lap. I think that deserves a break. Yeah. Hey, Steven. Connie, where are Daniel and Patricia? They're still having fun on the rink. Did you want to hang out? I don't have to skate, you know. No, no. You're here to have fun. You're so busy no studying. Pushing. You should get to be with your friends. <laughs> you I'm sorry, I've noticed all the little signs. We could mm -hmm. sit and have some tater yeah, tots. Okay, so. No, no, you, you should skate. I, I want you to skate. Uh -huh. Well, okay then. Uh, he, Steven really is his own worst enemy right now. I told you, that's what I'm saying. He's like, he's standing in his own way. I think I've forgotten how to talk to humans. Uh -huh. Really? Have you tried using one of these? Pearl says it's supposed to help. Maybe later. <laughs> What's the deal? That's definitely gonna come in handy. Great with humans. Vandalism. What about Connie and Greg? Greg's my dad. He doesn't count. And Connie, <laughs> it's fine when it's just us, but I don't know how to talk to her when she's with her friends. You did fine making friends, right, Bismuth? Oh, yeah. Uh, it was all right. All right? It was what you came for, wasn't it? Uh, well... You came for uh, Pearl. Uh, oh. 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 You're here for Pearl? <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to hide it from her? I just don't want to take her away from what she's got. Mm -hmm. She has her own thing going on. She's like the pearl I remember, but a little different. Yeah, cops happier. No. Oh, this uh, is yeah. When Connie and I were fighting to save the universe, oh, things were sort of easier. <laughs> we were fighting the same fight. Now it's like we're living different lives. Yep. I wonder if I'm even her best friend anymore. Okay. How long has this <laughs> How been going How dare on? you? A uh, couple months. Listen, Stephen. Pearl brought me here to set me up with her friends, but Connie what came here Biz to be with you. What is like you've instrument? Got nothing to I know every character has like an instrument or like a style of music. Of course so. you're weird. You're a crystal gem. Connie knows that. Not sure. She's always known that. That never stopped you from being friends. You're right. Connie knows who I am. She's been my friend. She's I figure some kind of keyboard synth so thing. What do you want? I'm not sure to do exactly. Friend stuff but... with Connie. And what are you gonna do? do Skate stuff. with Connie. Okay, let's then go. Then go do He's it. Oh, oh. Connie. Let's go. Steven? <laughs> Did you just like roll in a ball? Steven, <laughs> are you okay? Your shield ball. Connie, I'm sorry. I don't want to hold you back. I don't mind. You've got cram school. New friends. You're going places, and I'm happy for you. But I feel like you're drifting away from me. I wish we could reconnect, but I don't know how to skate. <laughs> skating is what you're worried about. All right, everybody. Well, she's I like, think Bruh. skating <laughs> represents skate something a little deeper here. Everyone, show off your sickest moves and be crowned Hello. skater of the night. Okay. Come on, I have an idea. <gasps> <gasps> yes! I didn't even think about it. The second 
<laughs> she said, "We have an, I have an idea." I was like, "Oh my god, here they come!" <laughs> oh, they're Tyler the Creator again. <laughs> yes. He's always wearing that fucking fur jacket. They're so cool. I love this vibe. Yes, yeah, Pearl's friends. Huh. Yeah. Ooh, have we seen Stevani with the new fit? Oh, <laughs> you got it. You got it. Yeah, I figured they'd be like a pretty medium. Oh, okay. That's crazy. Our, our friend that just melded with our other person. <laughs> Yeah. Sam. Okay, Stevani. <sighs> I love them. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I know them. <laughs> Thank you, Pearl. <laughs> Unless somebody wants to follow that up. I love Sour's poster. Sour Cream's poster in I the I guess back. that makes the winner by default. <laughs> Hell yeah! They're like, damn. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one, two. Connie, thanks. Steven, Connie, that was amazing. Mm. What the heck was that out there? Mm. Oh, fusion? Yeah, that's <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's something I picked up from my mom's side of the family. Mm. The only thing I get from my mom's side of the family is stressed out. Out. <laughs> <Same. Yep. laughs> what was it like the first time you guys did that? Okay, so we were at this rave, right? Yo, Steven, Connie, since you all won, you guys get to pick the next song. Okay. The next song. What's Can you play thing? this commercial for me? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I know the perfect song. Come on, Connie. BRB. Oh. Hey, sour cream, I got a song for you. This one goes out to Bismuth and Pearl from Steven and Connie. <laughs> Are you tired? Go get it! He's looking so cute! It's my fave song! I wonder what their future will look like. That'd be cool. Cams. Camshafts is the place to bring your wreck. Get your car repaired for cheap and fair without risking your neck. Cams. Camshafts. <laughs> Let's spice this baby up. This is so cute. Oh, what are they gonna do? <laughs> the... Oh no! <laughs> Lord! That one was the sweetest little episode Fudge. ever. That you really were like, where's Connie? Where's Paradox? Yeah, and then they said, chill, chill, we're getting I know, this was my episode. this was my Paradox episode. Okay. Oh. And the Pearl and Bismuth episode. Yeah, I loved that. That was very lovely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love the parallel between, um, you know, Steven trying to reconnect with Connie and Bismuth trying to reconnect with Pearl mm -hmm. um, there. What are your thoughts? I'm just trying to decide what I like the best about it, mm -hmm. where I wanted to start. Um. I guess we're finally in, like, cool per Pearl territory, because I remember in her episode that was kind of similar to this. It was her trying to live on the edge when they, like, ran from the cop and all that stuff like that. And now <laughs> she's passing out um, toilet paper to tell people to... <laughs> Fresh roll! <laughs> mm -hmm, to, to commit crimes or whatever, fight. Vandalism. Vandalism. Yes. She's... I love... But yeah, I love this Pearl. I love her, to see Pearl just... Seeing her so, like, mellow and just... She really yeah. just loves to socialize. Like, Life it's, it's very sweet. Indeed. Um, yeah. Love her, but yeah, with Bismuth. I, I, obviously there's a romantic element there too, but yeah, just seeing them reconnect as friends, like Bismuth wanting to, um, connect with Pearl, and in the same way Connie is wanting, Stephen just wanting to connect with Connie on that base level. And yeah, I, I, I love how I didn't even see the fusion coming, but of course they would, um, fuse again. It made sense. Yeah. Because um, Devani always kind of represented both of them. I feel like Steven really needed that, but it, it, she's, Very excuse confident. me, they always represented, uh, like, that, like, them becoming more just secure as yes, people, and, like, definitely. you know, here comes a thought, like, all of that, like, they learned so much emotional growth I, I, and they, they, maturity. I feel like all the moments that they're together is when they grow, like, when they were mm -hmm. doing the drag racing with Kevin, and mm -hmm. learned to just enjoy the race for the race, or mm -hmm. just, like, with, uh, um, when I was saying, like, yeah, I feel like skating ever does really more. Just in that, like, kind of going with the flow, just literally. literally. To go mm -hmm. skate, you can't force it You can't it out tense up, you, you can't do all that, to... you have to relax, you yeah. gotta just you literally, yeah, go. And we saw them kind of stumble at first and mm -hmm. getting just like when they were first starting to walk, and just, you know, they've grown so much. Exactly. So, yeah, they are. It's so cute. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, this was a very sweet pair of episodes. This that second one was definitely more on like the happier side than Steven having you know that uh, Christ he had in his dreams. Number one, I'm glad we learned that Bismuth. I mean, I knew Bismuth was helping build a little homeworld, but I didn't realize she was an architect. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a step up from armor for sure. It is. That's really cool. I mean, just really proud of her repurposing her. a similar skill, and I love that. Indeed. Um, and yeah, just happy to see how much of our characters, how much our characters have grown. Um, in like two episodes ago, um, Stephen, the Prickly episode, Stephen was talking about how you know Amethyst seems more mature, and I guess, I guess. Um, but in a way, I feel like he was just insecure, insecure and jealous that it seemed like she processed it faster and better than he expected her to yeah. because she's so goofy and immature and all that. He thought she'd take it harder, and she did take it hard, but she was also like. Yeah, I gotta deal with it, so I yeah, exactly. I gotta deal with it, and like he's not doing that. I gotta deal with it part. Yeah, and he's wondering why he doesn't feel as mature as you know Amethyst, but we're mm -hmm. getting there. Well, y'all, thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. Thanks, of course, specifically to the Patreon Elite subscribers that are watching this earlier than everyone else. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us. Um, yeah, it's it's just hard seeing Stephen like you know continuously get in his way or whatever with. Cause and that's totally natural for his age in life. You yeah, hundred percent. When you're younger, it just you, you things flow more naturally. You feel like you could just be yourself with everyone. And now that he's older, now that he has all this built up trauma and stuff like that, he it's hard for him to you know interact with humans and all this stuff like mm -hmm. that. And that's completely re realistic for his character. It does make sense because besides like you know his dad like and Connie, yeah, he wasn't really mm, know constantly around people. Like yes, Lars and Sadie and them, but like not all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And even when he did, they got put in some pretty upsetting and traumatic situations, you know. So he still feels, I don't know, awkward, I guess, yeah. trying to reestablish these new relationships. Indeed, man. Ah, oh, I'm loving it, though. I, uh, eight episodes left. Oh, man. <sighs> Four more weeks of Steven, and then we're done. I'm, I'm just praying that they announced... I've said it a million times, but just like a <laughs> distant lands, a better time distant lands style Steven Universe show where we just get different, like a little 48 minute um, episodes from different points in the series are just like, you know, we could definitely get, because a lot of people said they wanted to see the adventures of like Lars and the off color gems. Sure. We could totally do like one, a mini movie about that. That'd be or great. Or a mini movie about so many things about, you know, Rose. Um, or, or, there's so many cool ways they could expand the story, so I'd love to see that. But I can also be happy if this is where things end. Mm -hmm. you know? We've got to appreciate things for what they are. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes this is as much as we get. Yeah. But it'd also be nice to get more. Yes. Really fun episode this mm -hmm. time. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I really like that. Indeed. <laughs> Any final thoughts? Steven, please go to therapy. Yeah. Whatever the gem equivalent. That's what the climax of the show is going to be him going to therapy. I would like to see. I mean, do we see the diamonds at all? They're in the intro, and they were in his dream. But have we seen them in this show? Did they not? No, that was. We the see movie. that big pink diamond. I guess we will. Yeah. Maybe he know. turns into pink diamond at some point. Or like, because the white diamond that's shaded pink in the intro, you know. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, I just was that necessary. The, yeah, the white diamond with that, that the color pink, but is the design of white diamond in the intro. Yes. Well, so maybe that's yeah, something that happens later. We'll see. Maybe we won't see the diamonds at all. That'd be nice to know. Maybe I'm forgetting something. Cause I feel like we did. I don't know. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I feel like we did see them, but. I don't know. Um, well, I feel like. Maybe I'm. Let me see. We so all we have is that space worm thing left. I feel like, in terms of the, um, yeah, we've seen blue. We've seen bluebird. We've seen the lap eye, the lapises, um, Jasper, of course, and we saw the the lap prickly, eye is very funny. <laughs> the prickly pear. Now all we have is that giant, no, uh, dune worm and uh. The ah. pink diamond. <laughs> yep. Um, all right. Yeah, we're, we, we've made our way through the series. I really want wonder what the giant worm is going to be. I'm... One last, the big uh, um, corrupted gem we have to deal with, possibly? Mayhaps. Hmm. Oh. Indeed. All right. 
I guess we'll only see you as we continue into the story. So, I guess that'll happen in the future. The Steven. <laughs> the, the Steven future. Universe. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. What's next? Take a moment, remind yourself. Take a moment and find yourself. Take a moment and ask yourself. This is how we fall apart. But it's not, 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 it's not. And it's okay. That blue, blue fish was cursed. <laughs> <laughs>